Dimension Neptunia V2. and I were swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion. Except, it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself, willingly into this maelstrom. But, it's pulled me down deeper, and with more violence than I could have ever imagined. Give me an answer. Anyone, please. Save me. Zero Dimension Neptunia Z! exists outside of our reality, where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules, Planetune. The nation where CPU Black Heart rules, Lastation.
CPU might hold rules, but we, the nation where CPU green heart rules, green box. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the deity of sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. A voice? Someone, anyone, save me! Save the zero dimension! Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark. Even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a, I mean, deposit this at the Basilicon for safekeeping. Yeah. Hey, Napier, looky look, I found a Super cool vintage game console. Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. Ah, it's Isti! This small fairy-looking girl is Istoir, or Isti, as I like to call her. Planetune.
around. Hmm, that's pretty weird. You'd think there would at least be a cat, a hologram, or something. Hey! Anyone here? There's something really eerie about this place, Neptune. Those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks. You're right. They're all green and pretty. I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. There are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. And these buildings, they feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. N no it couldn't be. Hmm, would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? Don't say things like that! That's bad! When I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Doi! Come on, little Nap. That city's my backyard! I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded! Well, it does us no good to keep rooting here. Forward march! come from at times like this, I wonder. My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. I hope so. Ahem, <laughs> <laughs> that was just kind of loud is all. <laughs> it's just a run-of-the-mill first battle baddie. See, Nep Jr., my protag rule set has found local person number one. Oh, Neptune! No matter how you look, I don't think we can converse with it! It's full of murderous intent! Uh, I guess so, huh? <laughs> Behold my power! sequence. I don't think a monster will understand even if you tell them that. I don't know why we can't go HDB, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it. Okay.